This video is going to show you three of the magic tricks that you're going to learn in the activity book. And in the, actually in the activity book, there's 10 tricks all together you get to learn. They're all really fun and exciting, and you'll amaze your friends. And it doesn't use any magic props, it just uses things you have around the house. And besides learning the magic tricks in the activity book, there's some co pages to color you'll have fun with. And there's also some other activities as well that you have a good time with. This is a really fun trick to do. You can use your own handkerchief for like, or you can borrow one. Maybe you can borrow your dad's or your grandpa's handkerchief. Take your fist, make a little fist like this. Cover the fist up with the handkerchief. You're going to need yourself a pencil, a long pencil, or it could also be like a butter knife. Don't use anything real sharp. You take your thumb and you push it inside the fist like this. Actually, it needs to be a little bit bigger, so let me push it a little bit deeper. You take the pencil, push it inside there, and you say to your dad, watch this, push it down. You can even make it go up and down a little bit. But eventually, you're going to say some magic words. In my case, in my magic show, I like to say Godfrey, Godfrey, Godfrey. But you guys can make up your own magic word. You reach up underneath there, pull out the pencil, and show that the handkerchief does not have any holes in it whatsoever. In the activity book, I teach you uh, four coin tricks. When I was a little boy, I loved doing coin magic. Since then, I do all sorts of magic now. Uh, this is a cool trick. You can borrow a quarter, any kind of coin will work. It kind of works better to use a bigger coin than just like a dime or a penny. You take the quarter and you tell your friends you're going to make it rubber. They go, yeah, rubber? Yeah, watch this. You just take it and it starts getting rubbery. Isn't that cool? It really looks like it's a rubber coin, isn't it? But it's a solid coin and that's not rubber at all. And then you can hand it to your friend and they can check it out. We're here in my kitchen, and uh, the activity book is going to teach you 10 magic tricks. Yeah, two of those magic tricks uses silverware. In this case, the trick I'm going to show you right now uses a spoon. So just imagine you're around a table with your mom and your dad and your brothers and your sisters. You take a spoon, and you say, watch this, mom. You take it, and you bend it. Now, before your mom gets mad at you and sends you to your bedroom or sends you to the corner, you're going to use your magic powers and restore it back to a regular spoon.